So uh, this is the Arduino water level system checker. Our main idea was to use a ping sensor, uh, which detects a sound uh, to check the distance. And we can use that to determine if water is running low and set off a bunch of alarms. So you can reset it or refill it or whatever. You can implement other ideas later, right? So the main idea behind this was the ping sensor, which uh, is the main signal uh, input. And uh, that is on our main Arduino. And that is attached to an LCD, which reads the distance input, uh, and it can send that distance to other Arduinos. This is a potentiometer to change the brightness. And then we have uh, one, uh, one of the alarms to set off is the buzzer, which should be beeping right now. But um, we'll show you that the signal is, is uh, receiving. But it's just something got messed up when we were walking it up. We, we got to check out the TA. But as you can see, the signal is showing one, so it's receiving, but it's just not working as uh, intended because the something got loose, but it's receiving a signal, right? And as you can see, the LED is on. It would function much the same way. LED turns on when the signal is received, and you can push a button to turn it off, which is how the buzzer would function. Uh, the next step is, the final thing is the motor, which kind of, you can't see it moving, but I had to do one step at a time to, because I could not stop the function halfway. Uh, so I have to run it continuously, and it stops when I hold the, uh, the touch sensor. So th the motors actually could be used to fill up a water pump uh, and, and fill it up until a certain level is reached. Uh, but once all those implementations can come in later, we had a really tough time uh, doing the uh, communication between the four Arduinos. But uh, otherwise, everything seems to be working correctly. We just have to implement a water, like, uh, physical implementation of this so as a prototype. As a prototype. And uh, that, that will be the main kind of goal next. And then we will actually change this into a servo motor so we could actually uh, stop it in halfway and function like this button would and just touch it and it would go off. But that won't be done until we get a proper motor. So everything works as intended. The buzzer just won't work. But signal is there. And uh, that's pretty much it so far. Thank you.